Hi, my name is Heather and I run Amour La Petite Maison on Etsy. It is a 12th scale miniature store. Welcome to my very first YouTube video. I wanted to take two of my favorite things in life and one of them of course being miniatures and the other being the Pride and Prejudice movie from 2005 starring Kira Knightley. It's my favorite movie because it's just so beautifully filmed. The costumes are beautiful. I fell in love with all of the characters and I love the house that the Bennets lived in. I just, I love the rusticness of it, the oldness of it, the colors. So what I decided I wanted to do is I wanted to take that Bennett house and I wanted to recreate it from the ground up in 12th scale. Now I've never done this before. Every dollhouse that I've dealt with has always been from a kit and I wanted to make this on my own. So I decided I'm gonna document it on YouTube. So I hope that you come and join and watch uh, to see if it comes out to be something beautiful or uh, just a beautiful disaster. One of my goals is I not only wanna build the house from scratch based on the house from the movie, I also wanna build all of the furniture as much as I can from scratch. Um, the pieces that I can't build, I'll try and buy them off of eBay or Etsy or other from other miniaturists. So anyway, that's all. I just wanted to have you come and join me for this project and I just think it would be a lot of fun. The Bennett House is also known today as Groombridge Place. And this is where the movie was filmed in 2005. I don't know when Groombridge Place was built, um, but I did find this floor plan for, for the building online. And so what I did was I guesstimated the measurements of the whole building based on the windows. So I kind of guesstimated from watching the movie that the windows would, were probably about two and a half feet wide. And from that is how I came up with the measurements. I converted my measurements and my guesstimation of how big everything was and I put it on a grid. And each square on this grid equals 1.25 feet. Uh, I'm not sure why I chose that, but I did. So each grid is 1.25 feet and then I drew these plans of the floor plan of approximately what it's gonna look like. Now the first floor of the house is gonna be strictly based on the floor plan and it, it's pretty consistent with the movie. The second floor of the house, I'm gonna have to kind of use my imagination and guess where the bedrooms were because I don't have a floor plan for that and um, it's not really obvious when you watch the movie. So that's kind of guessed, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, the interior of the house is all one color. It's this beautiful kind of bluish kind of color with this white wash on the walls and the entire house is the same color and it's just very, very, very pretty. The floors in the house are wide planked hardwood floors and most of the windows are exactly the same and they have this grid pattern on them. There are a few windows that are um, in the back of the house or I believe on one of the sides of the house that are a little bit different. So, but I'm gonna try and make, make the house very cohesive. There's also an addition on, on the back of the house um, and I don't know, it's some sort of a shed or something, but I'm actually not gonna be putting that in, in in this dollhouse because then the house is just gonna continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm just basing the dollhouse on this square original floor plan that I have of Groombridge Place. 